They're one of the most majestic creatures of the deep. Growing up to 15 metres long and weighing in excess of 40 tonnes, the humpback, known for its playful, curious nature, certainly knows how to put on a show. Among the adoring crowd, a group of Australian researchers working to come up with evidence to try and save the whales from this. Japan will resume its annual scientific hunt in the Southern Ocean at the end of the year. Under the International Whaling Commission, it's allowed to cull a thousand minkies, 50 fin whales, and in recent years, 50 humpbacks have been added to the list. While Japan claims it's in the name of science, critics say it's a crude disguise to sell and eat whale meat. There is no science associated with the scientific whaling. There is no need to kill whales in order to get the so-called scientific information that the Japanese claim they need to get. Dr Peter Harrison from Southern Cross University is behind the groundbreaking study. As the whales make their annual migration along the east coast of Australia, he and his team of scientists collect very small but valuable whale DNA. In the whale footprint, the clear water that occurs after a big breach has occurred, we then go in slowly and with a highly technical kitchen sieve on the end of a long pole, we basically scoop the little bit of sample out and then pop it into alcohol and then take it back to the laboratory to do the genetic analysis. These bits of skin can determine a whale's sex, genetic type and potentially the secret to their age. Scientists believe they've found a connection between the length of the end of the chromosomes and the age of whales. It's this key piece of information Japan claims can only be obtained through tissue located in the outer ear canal, and that requires killing them. In a statement released to CNN, Japan said non-lethal research does not give enough information to find out the dynamics and sustainability of whales as resources in the longer term future. Japan and several other pro-whaling nations tried to overturn the commercial whaling ban at this year's International Whaling Conference in Morocco and failed. But some believe it may only be a matter of time. Before commercial whaling began last century, there were an estimated 40,000 Eastern Australian humpbacks. By the time the whaling station closed here in Byron Bay in 1962, as few as 100 remained. Researchers say since becoming a protected species, those numbers have bounced back to 12,000, but argue that does not justify a return to the days of hunting the humpback. Dr. Harrison is confident he will soon have enough scientific data to potentially save his beloved whale. It will remove the last excuse that the Japanese are using to try and underpin their scientific whaling. Anna Corrin, CNN, Byron Bay, Australia.